Hey guys, Merc here. Welcome to the second part of how to get your legendary cloak. Uh, to give you a better idea of what you're going to be seeing in this video, I'm going to let Rathion take it from here real quick. I will meet you at each of the four shrines, champion. Remember, we must visit all four, but we only need to complete one of the four challenges. Choose the challenge most appropriate for your unique talents. So that's basically Rathion's roundabout way of saying uh, pay a visit to each of the four great Pandaren spirits or the August Celestials, whatever you want to call them, and ask for their blessings and complete one of their challenges. So basically there is a different challenge for you depending on what role you would play in a raid. As in there's a healing challenge, there's a tanking challenge, there's a melee DPS challenge and there is a ranged DPS challenge. Um, the Jade Serpent is ranged, uh, Chi-Gi, the, uh, the crane, the red crane, is healing, Zuen is melee DPS, and Niu Zhao is tanking. Glad I remembered that. Not in the right order, but still. And, I mean, each of those spirits have their, uh, their little lesson to give Rathion. I kind of skipped through that, I didn't think I needed to post like a one minute lesson about fortitude, courage, and hope, and all this other junk. Didn't feel like it really needed to be an integral part of the video, so anyway, here I am heading to the Temple of the White Tiger, which is where Zuen is at, which is the melee DPS challenge, which is obviously my calling as a rogue. Zuen's lesson was kind of funny though, so I'm going to play that out. Tell me, young prince, what is the nature of strength? The power to crush one's foes, that is strength. You speak only in terms of one's enemies. Well, certainly, strength can benefit one's allies. How so? By using it to crush their enemies. <laughs> A black dragon through and through. Very well. I will give you my blessing, but also some advice. Strength used in the service of others is twice as powerful as strength spent on our foes. Now, my challenge, should you accept it, will test your ability to stand right in the face of danger and persevere. Before anything else is said on how to beat this guy, there is a very important mechanic you need to remember, and that is that he takes massive damage when you hit him from behind, uh, rather than stabbing him in the face. So just remember that, uh, it's very important, I forgot a couple of times. Anyway, this mini Deathwing character, this son of Deathwing, is very much like Deathwing, like fight-wise. He has four abilities, he's got a thing that spawns adds, he does a cleave attack um, that takes like a swing up time, he has a rain of fire type ability, and he also has a kind of weird ability, like a kind of a mirror image type thing where you actually, actually have to find the real one before they all explode and kill you. Uh, very similar to some of the mechanics in Naxxramas and, you know, any other fight where that mirror image mechanic was a thing. Not Deathwing though. So, now uh, when I first did this fight I had quite a bit of trouble with the adds uh, because, I don't know, they, might, they must have hit a lot harder or something. Anyway, they hotfixed it so the fight became slightly easier after that. All I have to really do to kill them now is to just fan of knives them down uh, while I'm still on the boss. Now I did this fight as Mutilate. It's apparently easier as combat, but it's definitely doable as Mutilate. I did it as Mutilate, so whatever. Um, yeah, the adds, you just need to fan of knives down while you're fighting the boss. The Reign of Fire can be quite easily avoided. Uh, it does show on the ground where the little bits of fire are going to hit, so you can avoid those. Uh, the cleave that he does. Uh, it's not an all-the-time cleave, so you can avoid it. Quite easy to avoid. 
uh, and the mirror image type ability he does obviously try and look for the real one of him but failing to locate him in the first couple of seconds of those ads popping up just start phantom knivesing them down get as many down as possible and if you still think you might die hit cloak before it kills you and you'll negate all of the damage like it won't do any damage to you at all now uh, once you got that quest completed got all the parts to the cloak a Rathion will send you all the way back to the Veiled Stair, near where the, uh, you know, the, the Tavern in the Mists is, where his quote-unquote home base is, and he'll lead you up this hill, the same hill uh, where you were taken to to get your legendary gem and the other legendary gem. And this is about the point of the quest where he kind of goes over all the blessings and lessons bestowed upon him by the August Celestials. So I fast forwarded that of course because you're here for the cloak. I did this quest for the cloak. It's all about the cloak. The cloak is fantastic. Anyway, he kind of combines the powers from all of the August Celestials and the blessing and whatnot and creates the cloak which in one aspect explains how multiple classes can use it because it's you know been blessed by all the celestials and not just you know one of them so yeah that's that quest completed um if you do it in 5.3 do this quest in 5.3 like if you're all up to date it'll give you a quest to wait for 5.4 but there's nothing more you can do in the actual quest line this patch so hey just in time for next patch just in time for 5.4 uh, I'm gonna be looking at some more 5.4 content before it comes out, so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was quite a lengthy process getting this cloak. So hopefully it does help some of you gentlemen and ladies of course, who are stuck per se on this quest. Uh, cause it can get a little tough in places and it's a bit grindy, but overall it's awesome, it's an awesome cloak. Uh, here's what it looks like when it's fully upgraded, I've got mine all gemmed and enchanted out the wazoo looks beautiful my pride and joy currently as far as my gear goes so anyway guys don't forget to hit the video with a like if you enjoyed it and until next time this is Merc out cheers